Namaste everyone. Anu Chabra here. Today we are going to learn about a very tasty, nutritious, healthy uh, fruit that is papaya. Okay. So many of us must be wondering, uh, is it possible to grow on a terrace? Won't it take too much of space? Do we need to spend too much time in uh, fertilizing, taking care of the plant? Or uh, uh, is it possible or uh, once we will take it and after a few days if it does not uh, work the way we want it, do we have to throw it or we have to transplant it to a uh, land? No, nothing like that. It is a very easy growing plant, can be grown on a terrace and in a small pot too. So first we will talk about the soil mix. So uh, the soil mix should be really well drained soil, it should consist of sand vermicompost, soil and cocoa peat in equal quantities and just a handful of neem cake. So now the soil is ready. The potting mix is ready. Now we have to talk about the pot. As we know that this plant is going to be little on a you can say a semi tree kind of a plant. So from the very beginning we have to uh, keep a uh, grow bag uh, or a pot in a bigger size. So 20 inches minimum is required. You, If you have space, you can go for 40 to 50 uh, liters drum also. But in 20 liters minimum, if you have, it can grow really well. Now how to grow it? You can grow it with the papaya, what it comes to our house. When we eat it, the center part, the seeds will be there. We can sow the seeds. Uh, in the seedling uh, seed tray and once the germination has happened uh, after the new tr true leaves have appeared we can do the transplanting or you can sow them directly but the uh, uh, plants if you uh, this plant if you do uh, first in the seed tray uh, the transplanting after the transplanting this uh, gives a better results so once the transplanting is done now we have to Make sure that the plant uh, really uh, gets a good sunlight because this plant loves sunlight and apart from that it does not like uh, too much of a dry soil. The soil should always be moist but it is very uh, delicate plant. Uh, you can say like adeniums little extra uh, water if we give how the root rotting happens. The same thing happens with this plant also though it loves moisture but excess water will uh, you can say the fungal infection will have in the roots and that will get transmitted immediately to the leaves and within no time the plant will get infected with fungus and we cannot save the plant. So the main control on this plant should be the watering. Fertilizing yeah we have to give at different intervals different fertilizing but the main control should be on the watering of the plant. Now there uh, are different varieties available in the market. The native varieties what you uh, get in the market, they bear male and female flowers separately. So generally they say that whenever you buy native varieties, you should buy them in the pairs like male and female uh, papayas uh, plants so that whenever the uh, same size they are uh, flowering, so pollination takes place. But nowadays uh, so many hybrid varieties are available which bears homophrodite uh, flowers that means the male and the female parts are there inside each flowers. So uh, they self pollinated so no uh, problem of having one more uh, no requirement you can say for one more plant because they are self uh, pollinating. Now uh, some people claim that the uh, male uh, papaya plants can be converted into female papaya plants after giving some uh, treatment like heing or some rooting hormone and all. Some say that you take out the plant and uh, you just uh, um, uh, cut the main root because male uh, papaya plants have longer roots and uh, female uh, papaya plants have more fibrous roots. So if we cut the main uh, root of the papaya plant, it tends to give more fibrous roots so that converts it into a uh, female plant. But I have not tried that, I have just uh, came to know about such things. So I generally buy the hybrid varieties only. So that, that also works. Now uh, how much time does this plant takes to fruit? So in maximum 
eight to uh, eight months to one year, your plant is ready for the fruiting. Now this my plant is almost uh, five to six months. So another five, uh, four to five months, I think it will be ready with the fruiting. Now the only thing what you have to see is when the plant was growing. it has reached the stage so i had pinched all the leaves so that because of pinching that leaves the uh, all the nutrition this plant could absorb really nice and you can see such a small plant how nice the stem formation has taken place it's almost one and a half inch diameter you can say the plant base is there and the soil whenever you touch the soil it should be like this really so it should not be uh, dry it should not be wet so that is one thing now we'll talk about the fertilizing initially when the plant is in a seedling stage and it is growing really when it is really small you can say that is the time we want the plants to have a strong base the root the foliage so that is the time when we have to give nitrogen rich uh, uh, fertilizer which we give in the form of either vermicompost or the normal compost what we uh, make or the compost tea these are all or the handful of compost whatever we are making so weekly once if you give the plant is really happy now after 3 to 4 months uh, this uh, routine has to be followed till 2 and a half to 3 months till the time you see that the plant has reached a sufficient height now once you have seen the nice leaves and all has formed and you can see these kind of a small shoots here you can see the these tiny these things you have seen from here now another one one and a half month the formation of flowers will start happening okay so th these are the, these are the indications that the plant is ready for flowering so in that time we need to give it uh, phosphorus and potassium so that we can give in the form of uh, banana peel fertilizer or bioenzyme and one more thing we have to give is uh, oil cake fertilizers that will take care of all the micronutrients whatever is required and it balances the ph of the soil also once the plant has further grown so approximately you can take uh, say 2 to 2 and a half feet so that time it needs more potassium to make nice fruit uh, the quality of the fruit all is required uh, to be taken care so that is the time when we have to give rock phosphate and the rock phosphate is generally given to all the fruiting plants because it takes care of all the potassium requirement of the uh, plant so once that is given uh, that that not much is required just 1 and 1/2 to 2 teaspoon per uh, plant uh, once in 15 days we have to give so that is uh, maximum for this plant now once this plant uh, bears flowers generally one flower in other vegetables and all we see that one uh, one flower uh, converts it in itself into one fruit but this uh, the speciality of papaya flowers are that there are many pollens inside one uh, flower so the clusters you can see whenever the fruit formation is there from one flower only many will uh, the fruits formation will be there so that is an uh, unique thing of this plant and uh, generally they say this plant uh, gives nice yield for 2 uh, to 3 years but uh, yield every year it goes on reducing so first year yeah it will be uh, suppose 5 uh, uh, to 6 uh, kgs or 10 uh, kgs you have got uh, the papayas next year it will be half and third year it will be further half than that so it's better after uh, uh, first harvest uh, harvest you can uh, remove the plant because it is in a, uh, a pot you cannot give more nutrition how much ever we are giving it is sufficient for the plant for 2 to 2 and a half feet next year it will be difficult or if you really want to have that plant then you have to transplant it to a uh, land uh, pot one year is more than sufficient that is one harvest okay now when we talk about the um, pest care okay now this plant uh, one major problem it comes as i told you the fungal infection and because of that fungal infection the leaves you will see they'll curl up inside like this that is the clear indication that the fungal infection has taken place so that is the time we just cannot uh, i uh, rarely we can save the plant so even if we remove the leaves 
then new leaves also whatever they'll be coming they'll be infected because the stem inside has got infected so whatever uh, uh, new leaves are coming they'll also be infected so the watering control is really very much required apart from that a regular spray of soap net solution your turmeric water uh, onion peel fertilizers these things as a precautionary measure we have to keep spraying so that the plant the leaves everything you can see they should look healthy there should not be any curly leaves should be there so that is the healthy indication of the plant so that is main and apart from that yeah uh, at the tip wherever the center part of the plant is there that is generally get affected too much with the aphids that white aph that uh, black aphids or white mealybugs so that also will be taken care if you give a regular spray of compost tea your onion uh, fertilizer onion peel fertilizer your um, soap net solution so these are all the precautionary measures you have to keep spraying uh, once in a week or if the infection is there then uh, might be twice a week otherwise uh, at least once in a week uh, there should be a routine spraying of all these things and whenever you water make sure you should not take a, a pipe or hose pipe and do it the water directly because of that there will be a depression in the soil and sometimes the root gets exposed to the air and from there only the inf uh, you can say the fungal infections uh, might happen so these are the basic care for the uh, papaya plant and uh, whenever you buy papaya plant uh, or a sapling uh, ask the vendor uh, whether it's a male or a female or it's a hybrid variety so it should not uh, happen that after growing to such a stage you realize that it's a male flower and it's not going to bear a uh, female uh, so it's better to go for hybrid variety or uh, one uh, lady lady uh, bird uh, kind of a variety is also um, uh, is available so that also uh, you can look for it so many varieties are there depending on the area you are staying so keep looking for that and it's a very easy growing plant does not take much care only uh, regular monitoring if you do uh, this plant will give you with a good yield and it's highly beneficial uh, health wise also any stomach problem or anything uh, you can say it uh, the leaves especially uh, if you take a decoction of the leaves it's really uh, improves your immunity so overall it's a good plant must have in our terraces thank you